welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Marvel vs. Street Fighter 2 video, or you can definitely say, at least on this one, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. We have two great challengers, one hailing from Hasbro, one hailing from Jada Toys, it's gonna be a great brawl. Now, first and foremost, from Hasbro, we have the new Marvel Legends Zabu Build-A-Figure Wave, which features Cable and not only just a cable, but a very Marvel vs. Capcom 2 cable, and it has glorious artwork all over the box. Can't go wrong usually with their artwork choices. Now, on the back side of the box, again, you'll see more of that glorious artwork, along with a little write up for Nathan Summers. If you've been watching X Men 97, you'll definitely have caught up on this guy. Like I said, he is part of the new Zabu build a figure wave, he's part of a Seven figure wave, there's really six characters that you need to actually build a figure, which is very nice if you ask me. But yes, Cable is quite the standout. Now, here's the barcode. These are not going to hit retail store shelves. Mine actually came from Entertainment Earth. And if you are interested, I will put an affiliate pre-order link down in the description below for Entertainment Earth, not specifically for Cable in this particular matter, because Cable is actually sold out, along with buying the entirety of the wave. You can still kind of get certain characters, but if you do see anything you like while they're Marvel Legends related, perhaps Jada Toys related, if it's in stock, you'll get 10% off. And if you order anything over 79 bucks, you automatically get free shipping. So happy hunting. I hope you enjoy. Highly recommend Entertainment Earth. I use them myself. Check them out. You'll find something there that you'll like. Now, over on the other end of the spectrum at Target stores, happened to walk in. Haven't seen a Jada Toy Street Fighter 2 figure in a while, but I was happy to find at least the player 2 red version, Target, right? You get it, of Chun Li. Now, I love the boxes. It's very much that old arcade style looking box. Likewise, you'll see the various characters that they have coming soon as action figures. At some point, they will get to them. But Dalsim and M. Bison have started hitting store shelves. And as I'm recording this video, I happen to walk into a Target and found them both. So, yes, we will have videos on those coming very shortly. Here's the barcode for the Target exclusive Red Chun Li. But in the meantime, this is going to be an absolute blast. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee, maybe boot up those PlayStations, or if you still have it, a Dreamcast. We are taking a look at the brand new Hasbro Marvel Legends, Marvel's Cable from the new Zabu Build-A-Figure Wave, and the Target exclusive Player 2 Chun-Li from Jada Toys. Fight! 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 And while I got all you video game mashup peoples here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Why? Well, we got old toys, we got new toys, we got daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you'll like. So with that being said, here are both figures out of their respective packaging. A little light on the accessories for one, we will say that, although he does come with a build-a-figure piece, but it would have been cool just to have a few more things in the box. Cable, I'm looking at you, but we'll start this video off with the Street Fighter II Chun-Li. Now, she does come with extra hands, more of the palm karate chopping hands, those sort of deal. She does get an extra head portrait. And something you will start to notice is, yes, this is the exact same figure as the prior released the usual colors, blue Chun-Li, but she also comes with the same exact effect piece. It's more of that punch or kick effect. It's on an articulated stand, which works pretty well. Sometimes it could be a little loose in some of the segments, but you just had to have to get it just right. I wish they would tighten those just a little bit more, but overall, it's a pretty nice effect piece. And when using it in conjunction with battling other figures on your shelves, yes, not only does this Chun-Li figure stand great on her own, but with the effect piece, heck, it's even better. Now, you'll clearly see blue, red, same exact figure, same exact accessories, same exact head portraits. It's just a color swappage. I did tell myself, we're not doing this. We're not getting the player two versions and it's now in my collection. Although I'm not gonna go overboard with this because in all honesty, 
while it does have cool colors, it's red, target, you get the idea. There's some differences in the color, but nothing in the actual action figure. Of course, one thing I do want to point out is that the paint is a little bit more crisper, so that's much appreciated. Some of the earlier figures Eh, some slop here and there, we'll just say that. But yes, rest assured, the golds, the tiny little accents of paint, they are all there. You're gonna get the same exact articulation of which my Chun-Li, the first blue one, had a very loose head portrait, both of them, very loose in the neck. This one has fixed that. So again, same exact articulation, very nicely articulated, pinless. Overall, I'm a big fan of these Street Fighter II figures by Jada Toys. It's kind of nice finding them every once in a while. I really don't go crazy for them. When I find them, it's like a good old pat on the back. But when you pair them up with Marvel figures, like we're going to do, that's what I love them for. Now, in terms of Cable, Cable comes with two weapons and two extra hands, of which you can clearly see that I have affixed those hands to the guns. I just figure it's a lot easier. Obviously, I'm gonna be using those hands for these guns. The guns are reused. We've seen these with other figures. They are largely silver. There's a little bit of a paint accent to each of them. They are okay. Are they actually Marvel versus Capcom guns? No, they're similar. This one is a little bit similar-ish out of the two of them, we'll just say, although I kind of like the other one a whole heck of a lot better. Again, minimal paint accents, a little bit more would have been appreciated. Cable himself, though, I'm happy to say it's a really fantastic figure. This was the one I was looking forward to the most out of this wave, uh, with the exception of, of course, Wolf's Bane. But overall, the blues, the blue, that's the blue I want to see for a Capcom-inspired Venom. Hopefully one day they use that blue for a Venom, but largely, yes, the paint, the look, there are some details missing here and there, but it's very much Marvel versus Capcom Cable, while also being sort of the comic book Cable, and then kind of also the X-Men 97. Of course, you're going to swap, swap parts, pieces, certain things here and there, but in totality, yes, it's a great looking cable for the Marvel Legends line. I like the eyepiece. I like his head portrait overall. You got the scar on one eye. You got the electrical effect coming out of his eye on the other. This time around, it's a little bit more malleable. It doesn't feel like it's going to break off, fall out, anything like that. And you'll get the usual articulation in the head, the arms. You get the idea. One arm is, of course, his metal arm. It's pinless on that side. That's a nice touch. But then, unfortunately, on the other side, that's got pins, but he doesn't have pins in the knees and legs. So it was almost there. Like, oh, we're just within reach. I really wish that they would have fixed that. But again, to point out, much like the recent X-Men 97 Cyclops, I love how they did the harness, how that articulates. It kind of slips into itself. It's like an optical illusion. And I totally like that ingenuity. That is just really cool to me. That's a big standout. Again, you'll have plenty of the usual Marvel Legends articulation. Nothing to point out, really. Everything's pretty solid. Everything moves really well. Except for the fact that mine has this weird writing all over the back. That's kind of odd, right? Well, I'm happy to say and I'm very fortunate that I was invited to the X-Men 97 rap party. I got to meet a bunch of the voice talent for the show, which was very exciting. I got to hang out with Julia and Eric Leewald for a little bit, talk to them, the showrunners, the show creators, everyone there. It was a grand time. And of course, this all took place on the season finale day of X-Men 97. It was at the Scum and Villainy Cantina in Los Angeles. If you are ever there... Definitely go and check it out, especially if you're a Star Wars fan. But largely, they've become more of a pop culture-inspired bar, hence X-Men 97. But these are signatures from Eric and Julia Leewald. And it was so great to catch up, so great talking with them. If you're ever on social media, Twitter, Instagram, definitely give them a follow at X-Men TAS. They are just lovely people overall, and they absolutely rocked it along with the rest of the team for the entirety of X-Men 97. I was absolutely jazzed watching that the entire season. So yes, to finally have this version of Cable in this Capcom Marvel X-Men 97 attire, get it signed by the creators, that was an awesome day. Now, if you're wondering in terms of the scalature between various villains and heroes, 
Yeah, Cable is actually a little bit of a bigger figure, which pairs up nicely with other characters. He's supposed to be that bigger dude. And of course, when it comes to his pops and Deadpool, yeah, he will match up very nicely as well. One of these days, I want a pure 90s Deadpool with that new movie coming out. Come on, Marvel Legends. Let's see that happen. When you compare him with one of my favorites, absolute favorite looks for Cable, even more so than this one, although they're two really awesome along with Wolverine. Yes, you'll see the size differences. They're basically the same and it just really is eye-popping on your shelf. Now, in terms of Street Fighter 2, Jada has really been rocking it. All their scalature has really been lining up, especially with their Mega Man line, which goes great with these Marvel figures and their Street Fighter line. But when you want to have an epic brawl, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Marvel vs. Street Fighter 2, you can really build this out. And this is what appeals to me the most. So when you have Cable going up against Chun-Li in an epic battle three on three, but when you know it right at the last second with his strength bar all built up, he's ready to combo with his air hyper viper beam and he takes Chun Li down. That's awesome. And yes, those other weapons from Cable will fit this one. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new Hasbro Marvel Legends from the Zabu Build a Figure Wave. Cable in his really sweet blues and yellows, along with the Target exclusive Player 2 Red Chun Li. Now, I'll tell you straightforward, Cable is awesome. Definitely grab him if you're a fan. Player 2 Chun-Li, if you have the blue one, if you're really not into that whole, well, it's the same figure but different colors, which totally does work when you want to repaint these types of figures, I would say she could be a pass. Just stick with the normal line, unless you're a huge Street Fighter 2 fan. Don't get me wrong, there's a great figure going on here, but then not much new in the box. If they had changed just a few things here and there, that would have been more worth my while. But you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Marvel versus Street Fighter 2. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, now that I've found M. Bison and Dalsim, please let me know down in the comments which Marvel characters would you like to see me partner them up with. Perhaps She-Hulk from the new Iron Man Retro Wave? Huh? And when I do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.